Hi everyone, Erin Bassett here and today I'm going to show you how to make the snowflake wreath. You're going to start off by separating the embroidery hoops into the two parts and for this project we're just using the inner hoop, not the one with the hardware on it. And you're going to paint all sides of the hoop white and then just allow it to dry. Next we need to cut out our snowflakes and you can use the ones that are pre-installed on your scan and cut machine or design your own and scan those in and cut them out. My biggest flake is about four inches high and my smallest is about an inch and a half high and you're going to need a lot of them. I used about 40 various sized snowflakes. Remember to check your blade depth against the paper that you are using so that you'll get a great cut. <laughs> Build your snowflakes by starting with a larger size flake and then adhere a medium flake to the top of that with some foam adhesive. And then if you want a smaller flake on top of that, you can add that as well. Vary your flakes so that some are stacked too high and some are three high. And then next, you're going to use your glue gun to attach the snowflake stacks to the top of the hoop. And you'll just work your way around, maybe big, small, back and forth, just varying it up a little bit. And when you're done with that side, you want to flip it over and add a layer of snowflakes to the back side to create some depth. And then you'll just add some buttons or other embellishments to the front facing snowflakes and you're finished.